What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I got a snippet from an interview that I did with DJ Payne One, worked with Young Jeezy, uh, just, just a list of artists. I'm not even going to go into that list, but he's a producer, and he's talking about, in this clip, his evolution from one mentality to another in the music industry. And he was already successful with this mentality, but the way his mentality evolved is, is something extremely useful. And I think it's helpful that somebody like him had this evolution and showed it. But before I get into all that, I'm gonna just let you watch the clip. It's the mat work. 10, eight, five years ago, if you would ask me, hey, should I sell uh, beat licenses on the internet? I would have said, no, don't do it. And now, I'm kind of the guy that that some people contact and say, "Hey, you know what what what's the real inside scoop with this?" Um, and now I'm saying, "Yeah, I, I think it's a, a great outlet for for beats. It's a great opportunity to work with unsigned artists. It's a it's a great um, revenue stream." Uh, but I, you know, like like Curtis King said, it's it, he didn't say this exactly, but he kind of implied it. There's a lot of gray area between the internet and the industry. And ironically for me this year, some placements, including Wiz Khalifa, that came through my friendship with a producer who's for all intents and purposes, probably considered an internet producer who's dream life. And then also um, I've been doing Static Selector forever, but that came around full circle when he joined Beat Stars and I interviewed him and we reconnected. Mm. Interesting. <clears throat> now you said something there. I don't want to like skip over it. You said five years ago, you would have said, nah, I don't do it. So yeah, what changed? I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, just, you know, you're, you're ignorant until you choose to not be ignorant anymore. <laughs> and if you, if you are presented with a, a, a a fact or two that challenges your ignorance and you still choose ignorance, then you're stupid. I didn't want to be stupid, but I damn sure was ignorant. And you just kind of have this, or I, I'll speak for myself. I kind of had this mentality when I was working for placements that because it was so damn hard just to get a placement that I wanted to, I guess, feel like I was working harder than everyone else. And like my work had more value and far too much value to license mm. for twenty four ninety nine on the internet to anybody, right? But <laughs> when I say it out loud, this is really what I was feeling. When I say it out loud, it sounds absolutely ridiculous yeah. because in the meantime, there were artists who were getting beats online that, that are now great artists, you know, huge artists that I, that I would have killed to work for back then. There are producers who were building up their brands on the internet and, and, and generating income at the time that I would have never dreamed of generating doing what I was doing, chasing placements. So it was, it was just really stupid of me to create that psychological line between what was happening on the internet and, and what I was doing. And, and it just, it, it was ignorance. It was ignorance and it wasn't until people who I respected started giving me more insight into, um, let me close this window, into what the, the internet beat licensing space was all about. And then I started, and even that, that only brought me in. And then I had to meet people like Beat Demons and, and, and uh, Dylan Graham and um, the Crates and, and Dream Life for it to become real to me where I could actually ask this person questions about that world. And, you know, they're, they're so forthcoming. They'll, they'll pull their phones out right now and say, here's the sales report. Look, I just made $1,700 in the last two days. So oh. I'm like, wow, you did this independently and you don't have to chase labels and you don't have to get <laughs> a, you know a lawyer every time you upload a beat and you don't have to wait for a check for six months 
It's the network. All right, so if you want to watch a full interview clip, you can watch it at brandmannetwork.com. But one thing that's extremely interesting about this, right, is just the fact that, yes, it's somebody who already had some success and evolved their mentality from one way of thinking to another. But it's not just this, oh, I'm a producer and I'm doing placements in the typical traditional route. And now I believe online is a real thing and a legitimate thing. There's so many different categories that that applies to in music. And most people don't really take advantage of them or they take advantage of them too late when the trend is already popping. They can't see where things are going for themselves. So just look at it this way. At the end of the day, there are no rules to this thing. There really are no rules. The rules that most people are going by are just based off the reception of getting somebody else's approval. So if you aren't worried about being, you know, the person who gets approval, if you aren't worried about being a part of the popular crowd, you can have success in many different forms, right? I was never the guy who was always just in the group and having to be a part of the group thinking the main crowd. And if you're that type of person, I think it makes it easier to just move throughout the industry, figure out where you want to build, who you want to build with, and actually create something new, right? Be a pioneer in this thing versus just following trends and then having to be subject to the rules that other people create around those trends. So keep that in mind. And of course, once again, this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. If you want to get some help as an artist building your marketing, developing your brand, even building specific campaigns, you can join us at Brand Man Network and join that conversation with a lot of dope things that we make happen. And other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.